Grammy winner Kenny Loggins has sold millions of albums and recorded some of our most memorable movie soundtracks. Lee Cowan tracked him down here in the town he calls home. Backstage before a concert in Cincinnati recently. Many times you learn the life. Give me that line again. Da -ba -da -ba. Kenny Loggins was fine tuning just about everything. Love is coming, babe. Do you like touring after all these years? I mean. Well, yes and no. It's like making love, right? If you get a good response, you're better. <laughs> love is coming, babe. Love is coming, babe. At 74. Loggins himself has come of age nicely. His voice sounds as youthful as his songs, which have a habit of making us feel pretty young too. I'm all right. worry about it. Chances are you know the words to most, if not all of them. They are, after all, part of pop culture. Which is why, more often than not, a Kenny Loggins concert turns into one big sing-along. I learned early on that songs that were very personal to me and that anything where I could write where it would really touch my heart or hit that place of vulnerability would then be more accessible to an audience. Because if it mattered to you, it would matter to a listener. Exactly. Vulnerability is what I do for a living. Mama don't Loggins came to fame as the other half of Loggins and Messina, Jimmy Messina. Musically, they seemed made for each other. But, as Loggins details in a new memoir, he knew eventually he needed to stretch his wings by himself. I mean, most people, especially who are in successful duos, very few of them go on to be as successful. I was really lucky that no one told me that. <laughs> <laughs> His solo career took off. Album after album. Video after video. He's now considered one of the captains of Yacht Rock. That tongue-in-cheek label for the easy listening music back in the 70s and 80s. As a bird dog. Whatever they're called now, those hits gave him the wherewithal to move out of LA and up to Santa Barbara, where he's been ever since. There is, however, a price to pay for all this beauty. I did the remodel, and then the storm hit, and the mudslide hit, the day after my birthday. In 2018, the hills above his home gave way, sending a deadly wall of mud through his neighborhood in Montecito. Everything below me got wiped out. Oh my gosh. And the house above me got wiped out. He never thought about leaving, though. This stretch is sort of his own Bedford Falls. I have a kind of Jimmy Stewart life here because I'll go to the store and people who I don't know know me. Mm. So it's, hey, Kenny, how are you doing today? It's like, how are things at the gas station, Bob? <laughs> it's like, I don't know. It's a long way from the celebrity of Logan's life. Just this month, he was sharing the red carpet with none other than Tom Cruise. His throaty voice on the anthem for the Top Gun soundtrack became so synonymous with that 1986 film that when Cruz decided to make the sequel, Top Gun Maverick, for Paramount, CBS's parent company, he says he had to find a place for it. And he said it wouldn't be Top Gun without Danger Zone. And, and he meant it. Just like Footloose wouldn't be Footloose without some Loggins lines either. You've talked about how a song really knows what it's about before you even know what it's about. That happens all the time. The, the best example of that is a song I wrote with Mike McDonald called This Is It. Been times in my, life. my dad went in the hospital and it struck me that he was thinking he was prepared to die on the operating table and I, I thought, you don't necessarily have to do that. You know, Maybe you can make a decision to not do that. This is it. This is it. It wasn't a love song, he realized. It was a life song. He 
captures those life moments better than most. Where the poo doesn't know what to do? Best, perhaps, with his ode to Winnie the Pooh. He had written Pooh Corner as a boy of only 17, but after spending some time as a dad himself, he rewrote the end. After all said and done, I was watching my son Sleeping there with my bear by his side oh, It makes me tear up now thinking that about it. That circle coming around to where you see your son sleeping with the bear you slept with when you were a kid. So come on and play one easy. Kenny Loggins is now at a point where he can celebrate all that past success. And at the same time, make a promise to himself about the future. To be more present so that I can enjoy the, each moment that I have. Because we don't know how many more we've got. What a great show. Thank you. you know, so, you know, savor this one. <laughs>